Okay, hi there. Welcome to a short video looking at the concept of price elastic supply. Let's take a step back and ask the question, what is price elasticity of supply? Well, it measures the sensitivity or a keyword, the responsiveness of the quantity supplied of a good or service to a change in the price of that good or service. So when demand changes, the key question is whether a firm can respond by altering the output levels. Now we're focusing in this video on price elastic supply. That occurs when the coefficient of elasticity of supply, don't forget the coefficient is just a number, when that is greater than plus one. So for example, if we're thinking about uh, a manufacturing process, perhaps Heinz or a major supermarket producing own label baked beans, is looking to produce an extra 10,000 cans of baked beans a day. I mean, typically we would say that the supply is likely to be fairly price elastic. Modern manufacturing, mass production, should make it fairly easily to ramp up production by 10,000 cans a day. And we would draw an elastic supply curve, as in the diagram. There's been a big increase in demand from D1 to D2, and you can see that uh, it's quite easy to increase production in equilibrium from Q1 to Q2 without there being a big rise in the price. So that was how that's how you would draw an elastic, a price elastic supply curve. Now supply will tend to be price elastic when the supplier or the manufacturer has plenty of spare productive capacity uh, available to increase output. Maybe they've got some factories working a little bit below potential. Uh, maybe they've got some spare labor they can bring into the production process. So typically supply is price elastic when there's plenty of spare capacity and when there are high levels of stocks, stocks of component parts, raw materials and things available to, uh, to help meet growing demand. Supply tends to be price elastic when there's a short production time frame to bring extra products to market, to, to make some extra pizzas or manufacture some baked beans. The production process itself does not involve a lengthy time process. And also when they can bring in other factors of production. So they might be able to bring in some more labour, uh, add in some more capital fairly quickly. Supply tends to be price elastic. When the ease of factor substitution is high, scarce resources Scarce inputs can be reallocated easily to help meet growing demand. So when supply is elastic or price elastic, then producers can respond quickly, easily to a rise in demand without significant increase in costs and prices. And again, think in an exam context of how you might apply this concept. So when supply is price elastic, the risks of inflation tend to be low because national output, real GDP, uh, production across different sectors can grow quite quickly without prices going up. Whereas inflation tends to increase when demand is growing, yes, but also crucially when aggregate supply uh, becomes price inelastic rather than price elastic. Here's a quick multiple choice question to test your understanding. So the table on the right hand side there shows the estimated price elasticity of supply for cotton in selected countries. The question is which one of the following can be deduced from the table? So this is a moment I think to press the pause button on the video and have a go at the question and then just press play when you want to go through the answer. Okay so we have four countries there Australia, Egypt, India and Mexico and the estimated price elasticity of supply of cotton. What did you get for your chosen answer? The correct answer is C. Egypt has the lowest price elasticity of supply, 0.16. So just working through the answers here, supply is price inelastic in India because it's less than one. Supply is price inelastic in Mexico. No, actually Mexico is the only country with a price elasticity of supply greater than one. So that is marginally price elastic. Supply is most responsive to a change in price in Australia. No, Mexico has a higher price elasticity of supply. So there we go. That was a quick video on price elastic supply.